Welcome back to Federal Solutions Academy. On this video, I'll be working you on inverse function. Um, as part of this video, are uh, the vision of inverse function and examples. Try as much as possible to share and subscribe. Don't forget that. And um, let me try from the first one. I have, um, let me try to try to define inverse. Now, if y equals to f of x, we all know that is a function we obtain, sorry, we, we obtain, obtain the inverse function, which is f inverse by solving the equation y equals to f of x for x in term of y then later change to change y to x now, for example, I have something like this. Um, if f of x equals to 1 all over 2 of x minus 3, find f inverse of this. Now, what you just need to do, I need, don't need to stress myself, solution to this problem. Now, what you just need to do, we all know that f of x which, which what I've said equals to y. Therefore, y equals to 1 all over 2 x minus 3. Now, I think um, I cannot make x the subject, which I'll be having 2 y equals to x minus 6. Yes, I just multiply all through by that. Now, I think I multiply both sides by what? No, 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 no. I've done rubbish. Sorry. Okay, that is the case. If there is no minus, if there is no bracket, that is the case. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, since it's, that, it's like that, I will now have what? Uh, X will be equals to 2Y minus 6. Now, my S is equal to 2Y minus 6, which I've done that. It will now be what? My F inverse of X will be equal to 2 x minus 6. That is the inverse. That is the inverse. Take note of that. There are some problems. For instance, given that given the, sorry, the function f equals to 5s plus 2. 5s minus 2 rather. Find f inverse of minus one. Now, it's not hard. What you just need to do, just try to work the way I told you by saying that what f of x equals to 5x minus 2. y equals to what? 5x minus 2. 5y equals to y plus 2. x will be equals to y all over what? 5. It means my f inverse of x will be equals to what? x plus 2 all over what? 5. Which also implies s all over 5 plus 2 all over what? 5. That is all. That is all. Now, oh, we are now told f of what? Minus 1, which is inverse. It means I will be having minus 1 all over 5 plus 2 all over 5, which I will be having, I have a um, 1 all over 5. That is all. 1 all over 5. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I just need to work on another some questions. I'm just looking at them now. I just have one here. Okay. Sorry. Okay, now, I have another one here. f of x equals to x squared 4 find f inverse of 
5. Is it 5? Yes. F inverse of 5 is not add. The same way, what you just need to do, to make it easy, just turn it to what? Y minus 4. And make this S the subject. I have S squared equals to Y plus 4. S squared equals to root of Y plus 4. Now, it means at this point, inverse become what? Root of what? Y plus 4. That is the case. Now, we are not talking about F inverse of 5 will be equals to what? Root of 5 plus 4, which is equals to root of 9, which is equals to plus or minus 3. That is all. Plus or minus 3. Now, um, I need to look for another problem that can also be of help to us. Now, okay, let me talk about quotient form. I have f of x equals to 3x plus 4 divided by x minus 1. Please help us to mind the, the noise pollution I own rather. Now, I just need to work on this. My x must not be equals to 1. My s must not be equals to 1. If that is the case, there is problem. There is a big problem. Because the function will tend to another thing, which is to undefined. Now, once I have something like this, just, just make what y. Okay, find, sorry, let me say the question. Find um, f of inverse of 2. Okay, that is not hard. I'm looking for inverse of Two. Function inverse of 2. What I just need to do equals to what? 3x plus 4 divided by x minus 1. That is the first thing I do. I'll make my head the subjects, which I'm having y bracket of x minus 1 equals to 3x plus 4 by crossing multiply. Crossing multiply. Multiplication. Multiplication. Now, now since I cross cross multiplication. And uh, I think I will be having xy minus y equals to 3x plus 4. Now, I will be having x minus 3x plus equals to what? 4 plus y. 4 plus y. Now, permit me to manage this side of the board. Sorry. Okay. Now, I think um, since I have that, I will now say that what? My x bracket of y minus 3 equals to what? 4 plus, I think, factor out. Factor, factor, factor out x, which I've done that here. Divide both sides by what? y3. y minus 3. This will cancel this. Now, I think I'll be having x equals to what? 4 minus divided by what? y minus 3. Now, at this point, f inverse of x would be equal to 4 plus x divided by what? x minus 3. That is just it. Now, we are now asked to find f inverse of 2 would be equal to 4 plus 2 divided by what? 2 minus 3, which is equal to 6 all over what? Minus 1. My answer becomes minus 6. That is your answer. That is your answer. Um, that is what you need to do there. I think, do you have any other question? Okay, let me try to work on the one that asked you it so that uh, you have everything and you have it all. Okay, let me try to work on the one that has you built. Now, Now, look at this question. I'm talking about inverse. Now, look at this problem. I have if y, I mean, if f of x equals to s cube plus 5, find, find f inverse of x. Now, this is cube. I think um, that should not be a problem. That's why... To, to avoid problem, that's why I'm doing it now. Uh, what I just set this to be y equals to x cube plus 2. It means my x cube will be equals to y minus 5. x will be 2. Now, y minus 5, this is going to be 3. Keep root. Now, 
At this point, f inverse of x will now be equal to, please, cube root is very important, x minus 5. That is the function. That is the function. Now, before I end this video, let me try to work on the, that there are some cases, we call, which I call it joint cases. Joint cases. Now, let me try to work on joint cases. Now, um, for instance, let me have for this question two question two function two functions f of x and g of x are defined are defined on this set of R are defined on the set of R by f of x equals to s squared minus 4 minus 2 and and g of x equals to s plus 3 now that is what we are asked to find find we have f of minus 2 and 2 i have G inverse of minus four, and the last one, um, number C, which is three. Sorry, we are asked to find the value of x four, which F G of X equals to G of X. And um, the last question there, which I'll be having, um, I need you to run this side, sorry. Let me run this side also. I'll be able to manage the board as well. Now, if I have something like this, I will just try to, okay, let's try to work on something like this. Now, I have this question, is a question that was being set on uh, YEC, which is, I think, last two sets, I don't even remember. Now, I have something like this to work on. How do I solve this problem? Solution to this question. What you just need to do is very simple. The first question says that what? F of minus 2. I don't need to stress myself. What is my function of f of x? This is my, sorry, this is my f of x. Now, it means I'll be having three bracket of two squared minus two, which will be what? Four, 12, 10, equals to 10. Minus two times minus two is gonna be four. Four times three is 12. 12 minus two is what, 10. And the next one says that um, um, we are asked to find G inverse of minus 3 all over 4. Now, you can't just put G inverse like that. We all know that my G of X equals to what? S plus. Now, this is the direct G. I need to find my inverse of G. Y equals to S. Now, it means my S equals to what? Y minus 3. It means my G inverse of X will be equals to x minus 3. That is the inverse. Since that is the inverse, I cannot continue by having... Now, if that is, the in, uh, that is the case, I cannot continue by having g inverse of what? Minus 1 all over 4 will be equals to minus 1 all over 4 minus 3. Sorry, minus 3, which is 12. I have minus 15 all over what? 4. That is all about that. And that, um, yes, that is settled. Now, we have f, this composite function will be equals to g of what? x. Now, what you just need to do, 
What is my g of x? It means my g of x, my f of g, my f of g. It means I'll be having f inside, which is equals to g inside, what is my f? 3x squared minus 2. Now, what you just need to do, what is my f? My f is this. It means I'll be having 3 bracket of x plus 3 squared minus 2. And leave it equals to what is my g? I have my g, which will be what? 3x squared minus 2 and um, plus 3, which I'll be having. Here will give me 3 bracket of x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 2, which I'll be having 3x squared minus 2, which will be what? Plus one, please. I don't need to stress myself. Uh, indirectly, I'll be having three x squared mm, plus eighteen x plus twenty seven, which will be minus two, which will be twenty seven minus two. That'll be twenty five. Equals to three x squared plus one. Indirect, this we cancel this, and this will become eighteen x equals to what? Minus 24. Now, which I'll be having my x will be equals to minus 24 divided by 18, which I can now say that uh, we have 6 here. 6 here will be 18, that will be 3, 4, and here will be what 3. That is my answer. It means my x equals to minus 4 all over 3. Now, that is my answer. Now, the last part of the question, which says that um, you are asked to find something, something is there. Okay, find the value of x. You have gotten the value of x. The last part of the questions demanded for... Hmm, I didn't add it. I didn't add it. You are asked to find... Sorry. Number, um, number four. Number um, four says that uh, we should find... Uh, F inverse of G of, of 4. Now, please, I'm looking for F inverse of G of 4. Now, number 4 now. This is number 3. And this is number 2. And this is number 1. Now, I want to find number 4. You are asked to find F inverse of G of 4. Now, what I just need to do, I'm talking about g of 4. Let me just find g of 4 first. What will it be g of 4? g of 4 will be what? 4 plus 3, which is going to be 7. Now, I'm not talking about f inverse of what? Bracket of what? g of 4. We also use an f inverse of, of 7. That is what I'm trying to say. Since I have that, and I need to find the inverse of this. We all know that uh, if I find the inverse of f, now just find that y. Okay, sorry, f of x equals to what? Three x squared minus two. It means y equals to three x squared minus two. Now, three x squared equals to y plus two. X squared equals to y plus 2 divided by 3. Now, I think I will be having x bracket of root of y plus 2 all over 3. That is very correct. It means my f inverse of x will be equals to y plus 2 all over 3. All roots. Sorry for the noise background. Okay, now, okay, now, what I don't need to do we're told that this equals to this. It means my f inverse of what? 7 will be equals to. I'll be, don't, don't forget this will become x, sorry. I'll be having 7 plus 2 all over what? 3. Which all root? I have root of 9. 9 all over 3. Which is, I'll be having f inverse of 7 will be equals to root of 3. That is my answer. That is what we just need to work on. That is all.
That is all. <sighs> I'll be stopping here because of our time. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching.